The Thornton's attorney has said his clients acted in self-defense. Police are continuing the search. We are approaching 7.05. That means it's time for another check of weather and traffic on the fives. And we are looking forward to this afternoon, Jeff. We are. Lots of sunshine and uh, light. The GBI is investigating the shooting death of a man killed by a Douglas County deputy. Police say it started with a 9 Police say they don't know what the motive was. Strong is facing various charges, including evidence, tampering, and obstruction. Workers who lost income due to Georgia's record floods have until next week to file for federal unemployment. The Disaster Unemployment Assistance Program has been set up to compensate. There in western Tennessee and western Alabama, those will make it over here by Friday. Sunny and mild for today, a high temperature of 70 degrees, a light and variable wind. On and show you 285 near Glen Ridge, top end perimeter, and it doesn't look bad here. Eastbound and westbound moving pretty well. More coming up, traffic and weather together. Suchitha. Thank you, Cheryl. Our next guest rose from poverty to become a You were 12 years old. Can you tell mm -hmm. me about how you brought that uh, to fruition? Well, you know, it was a, you know, self, you know, but uh, at the age of 12, I started making video games. And many people were like, ooh, you made video games. How'd you do it? Uh, <laughs> but it was really through the reading of a couple of books, teaching myself about programming computers at school. And I started producing these games because we couldn't afford them. And I started a, a business selling the little games that I was making on a computer to my friends at school. And that was my first entrepreneurial venture. And I just took that and started business after business and really uh, worked it from there. And you've branched out into other industries, obviously, by now. You're also yeah. quite involved in real estate. Yeah, we've done everything from video games games to real estate. Now their biggest venture is in biofuel production, uh, taking recycled waste and really trying to save our environment and produce uh, more economical fuels here in our country. Okay, now um, Bishop Long, tell me about how you uh, teamed up with Ephraim and, and decided to open up the doors of, uh, of the church and, and bring him in and, and give him a platform to share his important message. Well, I, I had a meeting with Ephraim and he just blew me away, just number one, about his history <laughs> and then his wealth tour and what he's doing, etc. What there's no greater time than right now to instill hope in people with the high unemployment and all of that. And so I just felt compelled, absolutely necessary, that uh, he can. He has a message that, yes, you can. And to let people know, even young, old, whatever, that there are all types of opportunities still available. And it's really a, a different ways of thinking about things and yet hard work. All those things pay off. And with that, his story and his proven track record, it's just, it's just goes hand in hand. Yeah. So inspirational. You've been called uh, an architect of wealth. Um, but you know, a lot of people will listen to your story, and of course they'll be inspired by it, but they may think to themselves, well, I can't make a video game. I don't have that aptitude. I can't do that. Um, tell me about some of the more practical types of um, advice that you will be offering on the Wealth Tour. Well, on the Wealth Tour, just for instance, like on this evening um, at, at New Birth, we're going to be talking about entrepreneurship, about ownership, beating jobbership. We're going to be talking about how to get out of debt and how to take advantage of the opportunities are right here in a recession you know Cheryl health departments in six Georgia counties are now giving H1N1 flu vaccines to healthy people ages 2 to 24 years old free of charge Fox 5's Mark Hyman has the details 